Exercise after a stroke promotes strengthening, endurance, increases our flexibility, gets our heart going, gets us walking around, helps our recovery. There's no arguing that overall in general for the majority of people, some degree of exercise is good for after a stroke. The question is, and a lot of people get really into and are motivated to doing is, how do we know that we're doing enough exercise? And one common way that most people measure for their exercise is time. For example, I was at the gym for half an hour, or to even be more specific, I was on the treadmill for half an hour, or I did one hour of like stretching or one hour of yoga and so on and so on, right? So is this the best way to measure and optimize the amount of exercise that you're getting and doing for your stroke recovery. And one study that I've looked at shows that timing may not necessarily be the best kind of indicator for whether or not you're doing enough for your exercising to maximize your stroke recovery. If you're taking a lot of breaks, not that there's nothing necessarily wrong with breaks, it's just that you're trying to measure like, let's say productivity, right? You want to measure how much actual work that you're getting done. Like how many papers have I written for a project as a student or how many items have I produced? How many, let's say I'm at a fast food restaurant. I don't know how many orders have I completed like throughout my shift, right? Versus time. It's like I showed up to work for like an hour. These days with like work from home, right? How much actual work are you doing? Right? And what they showed in this study is that about one third of these study participants for recovery and doing exercise, they're, it's idle and they're not doing what they're, what we thought they would be doing. And this is of course, not to say that rest breaks and idle time is bad, right? We all need it even for like rigorous exercise. When we're training, we need to rest our bodies and for, to give it to time to recover and to catch up, right? Especially if you're really deconditioned or you have like a really, really severe stroke, then yeah, you need a lot of rest breaks, not only physical time, but also like mental rest breaks to give our time away from working out time away from technology and like just working our brains so hard. We just need kind of like space. If you want to measure how much you're doing and you want to know that you're doing enough, especially if you want to ramp things up and increase it more and more and to challenge your body more and more to get it back to as normal as you can before your stroke, then what may be better variable measurement way to think about it is repetition. And this is a good thing. We all are used to re measuring repetition. So when I say repetition, it's like do five times. Like those of you who have been in the gym, you've done exercise before, y'all know what a repetition is, right? I'm doing it a quantity. So the better thing to measure as with stroke recovery, the more, the better, not that we're the saying like no pain, no gain applies here. We should always listen to our pain. But what I'm trying to say is more repetition, the better, because we're trying to retrain our brain and rebuild those connections in our brain that have been injured after a stroke. So the more repetition, the better. It's not so much how long you're doing an exercise for and a lot of like exercise videos, whatever they have like a time limit, oh, like 10 minute exercise. I'm not really as big of a fan of that as so much. How much are you actually doing into your day to day? Are you doing five repetitions that you weren't able to do before? And then the next day you're doing six and then seven and then eight and then nine and then 10, then that's awesome. You're making a gradual recovery that is better and better. But as with life, it has its ups and downs, right? Same with our recovery. We're going to be able to do more one day and less the other day. So that is a really cool thing about using repetition to measure how our performance is. Because if you're able to just say, I did an exercise for like 10 minutes and the next day I did 11, the next day 12. Well, what if in one of those days you're doing less, right? You wouldn't be able to know. So if, for those of you who are like really like into like the details, into the, like the data, I want you guys all to write down or put into your phone at the very least, how much you're able to do. Those of you who have been in the gym and you bring your notebooks, you know about that already. I'm able to do six reps at this many pounds, right? The same exact same concept applies here. How much are you able to do for that specific exercise? And it's over time. Not that I'm ignoring the time factor. Time is basically your day to day, like over a span of time. So it's not so much within an exercise session that you should be applying this 
concept and awareness of time. It's more of, say, your day to day. How much can you do within that repetition? I hope that I'm not really confusing you guys. Basically, we're using time in terms of like, let's say like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or week one, week two, week three, or month one, month two, month three. But we're looking at within that time, how much are we actually doing for a specific exercise? So with that said, if you guys are up for an exercise session, I have plenty of these videos. I'm going to make them way more and focus more on the repetitions. Now, I'm not asking you guys to go crazy over it. Just put more emphasis on it and your stroke recovery will be more measurable. You'll be able to be happier because you're able to see more results and so on. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and good luck in your recovery.